I know I need to turn this down a minute. working antagonistic pairs, and this is where people get confused with flexors and extensors. Flexors bend a joint and extensors straighten a joint. So, I'm just going to put all this up here, and then we'll talk about tendons. So if skeletal muscle is striated, it means it has stripes going across it, and it's voluntary. That means... Skeletal muscle is what we're talking about here. This is the one that's under conscious control. I just totally spelled conscious wrong. They attach to bones and tendons. Tendons are very durable. And tendons, several tendons can fit in a joint. Okay, so if you look at a... Um, a skeletal muscle, it looks kind of like a giant rope. Okay, well, it's not that big, but if you think about a giant rope, they're really big ropes, they get all right. Okay. Really big ropes are actually a big rope with a bunch of smaller ropes inside, right? So, like, like even a ski rope is a bunch of, is a rope, and then it's got all these ropes, long, like little ropes long around, and then those little ropes are made of individual fibers. All of them kind of braided together. And so your muscle is kind of built the same way. It's this bunch of uh, packets here with the smaller packets inside. And then yet small, the, the smaller packet is called a fascicle. And this is what, when you have like a muscle twitch, it's a fascicle that's twitching, a whole group of muscle cells. So you have a twitch in your eye. It's not the whole muscle, it's just a part of the whole muscle twitching, which is very annoying. I'm back. Sorry, Cassie. And then inside of the fascicle are bundles of muscle fibers, and a muscle fiber is a muscle cell. Okay, so one muscle fiber is a muscle cell. So when you're making your whole muscle bigger by working out or lifting weights or whatever, you're actually increasing the size of each cell. And if you increase the size of each cell, you increase the size of the whole muscle. If that makes any sense or not. Yes? Why do your muscles twitch like that? If we knew the answer to that, we could probably give some medicine to solve lots of problems. It has something to do with the nerves, actually, they think. Like nerve fatigue or something going to there. But we don't know why, for example, stress causes muscle twitches or something like that. So, yeah, there's no real answer. Muscle twitches are a sign of certain kinds of nerve diseases, too. But usually not. The tendon is actually just the tendon is actually just an extension. When you when we see a muscle, we'll see uh, you'll see kind of there's actually kind of a clear coating over the top of it, and then the extension of that coating becomes a tendon. It's connective tissue, dense connective tissue, and it's attached to the bone, and it kind of like blends in with uh, what you can't see here is a covering on the bones. Okay, so we're looking at the cat. This will become much easier to see. Or if you had turkey this weekend and you had to peel it off a bone, maybe you could have seen it then. Tendons are generally white. And they kind of, the covering on the bone and then the covering over the muscle kind of blend together the same connective tissue. That's what holds it out. Like I said, it'll be easier to see with a cat. Uh, if you overstress tendons, sometimes they get little tears in them. That's what tendonitis is. And for some unknown reason, it's spelled differently than tendons. It's spelled like this. And I have never figured that out. Does anybody know why that is? I don't know. Well, I have seen it spelled with a yellow, but usually it's spelled that way. So the doctor tells you you have tendonitis, which you actually have are tiny tears in the 
10 in itself. J net plus K. If you had it. Pardon me? Well, as with any time you get a damage to body cells, that stimulates the inflammatory response, and so it'll swell up a little bit. And then when the tendon swells, it doesn't slide over the bone as easily, which causes your muscle not to work quite as well, and it hurts every time. Anytime you have tissue damage, you have pain messages. That's the immune system. Stress. 